Evolution is a somewhat complicated idea to grab a hold of. There's a lot of controversy on whether evolution exists or not. Most of the controversy tends to be from people who are sadly uneducated about the topic. Most of you will likely understand the topic, and that's great! Feel free to share this video with people who may not have your understanding of evolution. Survival of the fittest means only the fastest, smartest, and strongest organisms will live on. I don't know about you, but I don't see any super-brained cheetahs running around. Nope. In reality, the organisms best suited for the environment will live on. An organism must fill a specific niche or role in the ecosystem to survive. If they fit that niche well, they will live on. A good example is a sloth. They're slow, kinda stupid, and they aren't exactly strong, yet they fill a role in the ecosystem. Evolution only occurs over millions of years. True, large changes like growing lungs or gaining the ability to see well can take millions of years, especially with large mammals. But most traits can change drastically in as little as days to weeks in microorganisms or just a few thousand years in larger animals. The evolution of all breeds of dogs from wolves took only 30,000 years. You were born with your genetics, and you cannot change it. Epigenetics is a small change to your DNA that allows for your genetic traits to be adjusted throughout your life because of the environment. These traits can actually be passed down to the next generation. New species can't occur through evolution. Well, some people think that evolution exists, but a fish eventually becoming an amphibian just cannot happen. Well, think about it like this. If a species is split up by something like a natural disaster and they are separated for hundreds or thousands of years, small changes to the groups over thousands of years will likely lead to the two animals changing enough from each other that when they're reunited, they will likely not be able to breed, or in essence, creating a new species. If evolution exists, we would see transitional fossils between all of the animals. In reality, when we find fossils, it's almost never a full skeleton. In fact, paleontologists usually find little tiny bone fragments scattered all over the place that are painstakingly pieced together to form bones or sometimes partial skeletons. The biggest problem about fossils is that they are not easy to find, not to mention the billions of different species slowly changing into different organisms of all different ages over the millions of years in the billions of locations. Fossils are just not easy to find, and they're also not easy to identify what organism they came from. It's not that they don't exist, they're just kind of hard to find. Hopefully now you can help people who don't understand evolution understand how it works. Evolution is just a theory. No, absolutely not. That's probably the worst argument against evolution you could possibly come up with. Evolution is not just a theory. It's the backbone of biology and backed up I don't even need to be specific here because it's backed up by literally all of biology.